Once upon a time, in a remote village nestled deep within the mountains of Japan, there lived a wise and serene Zen master named Haruki. He was known far and wide for his peaceful demeanor and the profound wisdom he imparted to all who sought his guidance. People came from distant places to meet him and seek answers to their life's questions, especially on the topic of finding lasting contentment. One crisp autumn morning, a troubled traveler named Kenji arrived at the Zen master's humble dwelling. Kenji's face bore the weight of years of sorrow, and his weary eyes told stories of hardships he had endured. He approached Haruki, bowed respectfully, and said, Master Haruki, I have journeyed far and wide in search of happiness, but it seems to elude me at every turn. Please teach me the secret of living a life free from hatred and suffering. Haruki looked at Kenji with compassion in his eyes and invited him inside. Sit, my friend, Haruki said, gesturing to a mat on the floor. Let us have some tea, and then I will share with you the tale of my own journey toward a life without hatred. As they sipped their tea, Haruki began his story. Many years ago, I too was like you, Kenji, burdened by the weight of suffering and discontent. I had a good life by all external measures a loving family, a peaceful village, and good health. Yet, within me, a storm raged. I was constantly seeking something more, something elusive that would bring me lasting happiness. One day, in the depth of my despair, I decided to set out on a pilgrimage to seek answers from the great Zen masters of our land. I traveled from temple to temple seeking the wisdom that would free me from the shackles of my own mind. But no matter where I went, the answers remained elusive. One cold winter night, while wandering in the mountains, I stumbled upon a small hermitage. It was a simple dwelling and its inhabitant was an old hermit who had lived there for decades. He had a reputation for his profound wisdom, so I decided to seek his counsel. The hermit welcomed me and asked why I had come. I poured out my heart to him, sharing my troubles and my quest for happiness. He listened patiently and then said, You will never find happiness as long as you hate your life. I was taken aback by his words. But venerable master, I protested, I don't hate my life. I just seek a deeper sense of contentment and joy. The hermit smiled and replied, Ah, but seeking is the root of your suffering. You are constantly looking for something better, something more, and this keeps you from truly appreciating what you have. If you can learn to embrace your life as it is, without seeking anything more, you will find the peace you seek. I spent several months with the hermit, learning to meditate and contemplate his teachings. I struggled with the concept of embracing my life as it was, but slowly, something began to change within me. I realized that I had been so focused on what I lacked that I had failed to appreciate the beauty and abundance that surrounded me. One day, as I sat in meditation, it dawned on me that happiness was not to be found in some distant future or in external possessions. It was right here, in the present moment, in the simple act of breathing, in the feeling of the earth beneath my feet, and in the warmth of the sun on my face. With this realization, a profound sense of peace washed over me. I no longer needed to seek happiness, for I had found it within myself. I no longer hated my life. Instead, I embraced it with gratitude and love. Upon returning to my village, I began to share this newfound wisdom with others. I became known as Master Haruki, and people would come to me seeking guidance on how to find happiness and peace in their own lives. I would always share the hermit's words with them, you will never find happiness as long as you hate your life. Kenji, my dear traveler, I tell you this story not to offer a quick solution but to impart a profound truth. The secret to a life free from hatred and suffering lies in embracing the present moment, in finding contentment in what you have, and in letting go of the constant craving for something more. When you can do this, you will indeed find that you will never hate your life. Kenji listened intently to Haruki's story, his troubled expression slowly giving way to a glimmer of hope. Master Haruki, he said, your words have touched my heart deeply. I will stay here and learn from you, for I too want to find the peace and contentment you have discovered. And so, Kenji became a student of Master Haruki, 
embarking on a journey of self-discovery and inner transformation. Together they explored the profound teachings of Zen, the art of mindfulness and the beauty of embracing life as it is. As the seasons turned and the years passed, Kenji gradually found the peace and happiness he had long sought. He learned to let go of his hatred for the difficulties of life and to appreciate the simple joys that surrounded him. In doing so, he too became a beacon of wisdom and serenity, sharing the timeless teachings of Master Haruki with others who sought the path to a life free from hatred and suffering. And in that remote village, nestled deep within the mountains of Japan, the legacy of Master Haruki and his timeless wisdom continued to flourish, reminding all who encountered it that the key to a life filled with love and contentment lay not in seeking more, but in embracing the precious gift of the present moment. In the end, they discovered that the secret to a life free from hatred and suffering was not a distant goal to be reached, but a journey to be lived with an open heart and a mind at peace. And so, the wisdom of the ages echoed through time, reminding us all that we too can find the eternal serenity that resides within us, just waiting to be uncovered. Please subscribe to my channel Lessons of Life and press the bell notification icon.